Logistics companies, manufacturers, and retailers are struggling to deliver reductions of emissions and remain competitive at the same time and ensure proper access and value to their customers and society. A solution to reduce emissions and gain efficiency is closer than we often think. Sharing is the key. Sharing could already start between the different divisions in your company by seamlessly connecting the supply chain processes. This enables better use of your resources, greater transparency and efficiency within your own networks, and also better connectivity to your customers and suppliers. But we can increase efficiency much more by sharing our resources with other business partners, for example, sharing transport means and storage space. This better use of assets reduces costs, increases efficiency, and contributes directly to reducing the traffic on the road and in inner cities, and therefore to reductions of emissions. By seamlessly connecting your organization to external resources and capabilities, you can collaborate and share transport routes and nodes. That will expand the possibilities for your company enormously. By connecting independent networks, resources and capabilities between companies and creating a system of seamlessly connected logistics networks, we can create a physical internet that spans the world. The physical internet isn't here today, but we are working on it. We, that is, the European technology platform ALICE. Our objective is to accelerate the realization of the physical internet so that advanced pilot implementations are well-functioning and will be extended into industry practice by 2030. The time horizon for the full system of logistics networks will be the year 2040. With the European project SENSE, we created the roadmap to physical internet. The logistics nodes are the important physical locations, such as distribution centers, inland terminals, ports and airports. If the characteristics, capabilities and services of nodes are shared in a pooled network, we can create visibility and accessibility for all the stakeholders. Ease of booking for cargo owners or service providers will be the result. Integration between the nodes enables better coordination and cooperation in the network and increases efficiency. Modularization of cargo loading units to create maximum use of assets and seamless transshipment between modes. In consequence, this means that we will have to work on the identification and definition of business models for the collaboration and interconnection of nodes. The networks organize the transport by building links between the logistic nodes. Intelligent systems will support full flexibility of door-to-door -door services and therefore result in more resilient and flexible use of transport modes with less CO2 emission. Shipments will get higher fill rate. The network system will make better combinations of parts of loads and better control of loading units, predictive control of the network itself, real-time adjustments and more accurate timing ensures more flexibility and reliability. The system of logistics networks describes the combination of several logistics networks that are operated by different companies but can be used seamlessly. In order to achieve this, the exchange of data has to be simpler, faster and more consistent. This means that the differences between the networks become smaller, which increases the quality and efficiency of the network, expands the network's reach and reduces costs. The goal is to establish plug-and-play connectivity for users and providers to access the PI, so every business can become a part of PI or leave the network at any time. Access and adoption is important to create a mind shift towards an easily accessible, non-discriminatory, physical internet. It's necessary to increase connectivity for all stakeholders within a vertical supply chain. We believe that open access to the PI network is needed, leading to autonomous and optimal reallocation of goods and assets between networks. The last but not least area covers the governance. Governance concepts, bodies and regulations are needed to ensure a trusted, neutral and non-discriminating PI. Together, we can simplify many processes in legal matters, we embrace easier and safer asset sharing on existing platforms based on standards defining liability, security and electronic documentation.
Thanks to a globally established regulatory framework and governance bodies, the PI networks will grow in a sustainable manner. The physical internet is a paradigm shift in freight transport. The first pilot results are very positive. Of course, many kinds of technical, legal and financial matters still have to be developed between partners in the physical internet. The implementation of PI concepts will also lead to new business models and new companies. In this way, it can be compared to how the Internet was originated and evolved.